Hey there, Michael Bungay Sanya back again for another monthly book video review. Every month I pick three books around a theme that I'm passionate about that I think will be useful for you. And I give you what I love about these books. These are books I'm pulling from my top shelf, the books where I go, where I'm trying to give away as many books as I can because I just don't have space for them. There are some books I hold on to and these are the books I'm talking about every month with you. Here's the theme for this month. It's about being a change agent. How do you stir things up in the place where you work? And I've got three great books for us to work with here. Let me pick one of the, uh, an oldie but a goodie. This is by a guy I know, Adam Morgan. He's based in the UK. It's called Eat the Big Fish. This is a, you can see how old this is. It's got old faded post-it notes in it. Um, and I'm pretty sure Adam's written a revised version of this, but I'm sure it's going to be still called Eating the Big Fish. Here's what I love about it. Uh, Adam has a background in the world of marketing and advertising, but also in the world of change. And he basically says, look, what I'm interested in is I'm interested in the people who are number two in their markets. And actually figure out how do you be a powerful number two, what he would call a challenger brand. But what's so fantastic about this is that the credos, the eight credos that he sets out in this book are applicable to not just if you're a number two brand, so number two and a big brand, it's whoever you are, however you show up. These are all powerful insights that make you think about how you can have more impact and differentiate yourself for those around you. So I think there are two credos that I would point out right away. I think these are number five and number six. One is around sacrifice. What are you prepared to give up? What are you prepared to let go of? And the second, the number seven, I think, is uh, overcommit. There we go. Bang. Overcommit. Which is that piece around, if you're going to do it, do it. What Napoleon said, if you're going to take Paris, no, if you're going to take Berlin, take Berlin. That's what he said, and that's that same piece around it. Whatever you're going to do, do it powerfully. So I think this is a wonderful book. He wrote another book called The Pirate Inside, which I love as a metaphor. It didn't have quite the same power for me in terms of uh, a way of actually thinking about how do you make change internally, how do you make a difference when you're trying to battle the status quo. And that's, of course, what you're up against if you're the number two brand, a challenger brand against number one. Adam Morgan eating the big fish. Another old book, another one from England, Andy Law. And this book is called Open Minds. Pretty sure it got published under a different title in the US, and I can't remember what that is, or at least I didn't look it up before I came up here. Andy Law formed, founded one of the iconoclastic advertising agencies of the late 2000s, maybe the, the late 20th century. It's called St. Luke's. And actually, what was marvelous about this is it's like, he went in and went, how do we create a revolution in a company? How do we actually create the whole model about how we do work differently. And what they did at St. Luke's is they actually went, we're going to be a collective. Right? We're going to work in a way that we don't have the formal hierarchy. We don't have the same old 17th century decision structures. We're going to do things differently. So they really experimented with different ways of showing up at work and creating different ways of, of being an organization and, and kind of track the, what worked and what didn't work. And their stories are in this book here. There's a great moment where they're actually, uh, one of the really big advertising conglomerates comes up to them and says, hey, we want to buy you because you're cool and funky and you seem to be making money. And they went, yeah, I don't think so. You know, you, you, you're too big, you're, too, you're going to make us be too normal and we're going to resist normal. Something very nice about this. And uh, the third book, which came out just a, a year ago, maybe just a little bit longer, The Power of Positive Deviance. I, I love this as a, a change process. It's, it's the history is in the 1990s in North Korea. Guy shows up and he's like, okay, I'm here with an NGO, I'm here to do some work, I'm here to try and serve the uh, organization. And what they find is they go, look, you've got six months to solve malnourishment in North Korea. No, North Vietnam. And, or maybe just Vietnam. Anyway, the guy is going, Jerry Stern, and he's like, six months, I don't have time. How can I do that in six months? And so he did something very interesting. He went around all the villages, weighed the babies, and they found that in every village there would be at least one or two babies that even though everybody else was malnourished, these kids weren't. And so what he asked, and this is the key question, which is like, what are they doing differently that's allowing them to thrive when others aren't thriving? This is the positive deviance, doing things differently but in a positive way. And what they found is each village had positive deviance in it, and the insight around their change process was to go, how do we find what these positive deviants are doing, and how do we have them teach the rest of the village? And I love this as a change philosophy for two reasons. A, it has a great connection to things like appreciative inquiry, which is find out what's working and amplify it. And the second thing is that 
they go, look, we need local organic approaches to change because there's nothing like external change coming in just to build resistance, to make people go, no, thank you, I'm not very interested in that. So all three of these books, Eating the Big Fish, Adam Morgan, Open Minds by Andy Law, these are at least 10 years old, and The Power of Positive Deviance, which is a newer book, they're all about how do you push back against status quo, how do you find your way into doing things differently. And of course, if you are a change management agent, and if you work in an organization, you are a change management agent, you need to be evolving, you need to be changing. These are all full of great tactics and tips and insights about how you can do things differently and still thrive. I'm Michael Bungay Stanier from Box of Crayons. The theme of the books this year, being a change agent, you're going to love these, pick them up, take a read.